due tomorrow. Hmm? What's due tomorrow? My paper, what my dad does for a living, it's due tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh... I own a company that uh, owns a lot of other companies. What kind of companies? Retail, mostly. Clothes, shoes, pharmaceuticals, some high-tech stuff. OK, but what do you actually do? I make money. That's difficult to explain to someone your age. Hey, Jimmy. You're on your way, Dougie. Good luck. E. All right. Come on, man. <laughs> get up. Get up. It's Dougie's day. He's getting up. Come on. Let's go. Get up. Hey, hey. Dougie's going home. You gotta get up. Let's go, man. Guys, but I'm gonna miss you for about five minutes. <laughs> You won't be seeing much more of me anytime soon. Sure. That's my girl, man. That karma will come back to you. Baby. 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 I miss you. Baby. Before we wear the paint off, the hood of the car, let's take this somewhere with a mattress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, this came for you today. Registered mail? Looked important. Baby, what's the matter? My father's dead. I thought you were an orphan. Even orphans have fathers somewhere. No, Ma, I don't care what your landlady said. What did the, Ma, what did the, Ma, what did the doctor say? Hey, any chance I could talk you out of a smoke? No chance in hell, walk away. Look, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Mommy, I'm sorry. You're telling me that you're going back to a guy whose idea of romance is two for one night at the dog track? I'm right here, okay? And I treat you like a goddess. 
What do you mean maybe that's my problem? Hey, I can be a bad boy too if that's what gets you off. Hold on, I'm getting another call! No, no, sweetheart, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm being a bad boy, okay? It was like the role play thing. Just hold on, I'm sorry, hold on. Make it quick, okay? What do you mean Rodriguez is gone? Do you mean gone, gone? Because if that's the kind of gone that you're talking about, I would appreciate it if you drove down here and shot me in the face because it would be very comforting for me to be dead right now. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Leo. Special delivery. Thanks. Look, Rodriguez is the biggest bail that I have ever laid out in my entire life-sucking, miserable career. And it... Hold on a second. You know what? It's only money. Son of a bitch, sweet. But did you have to jack him up on national TV? It's frustrating. Frustrated? You look like the poster boy for bipolar disorder. This guy rapes a 10-year-old and gets off? I got a 10-year-old. Yeah. I only wish you'd have killed him. That way you take the sting out of losing my best cop. I need your gun, etc. I will try to clean this up and get you back on the job ASAP. Sorry, Cap. Sam, your sister called. She wanted you to call right back. They expect him to do a lot of reading? Leo, the Undertaker thought it made him look more natural. I can't read when it's hot. But a pool out in Vegas, I don't know how they do it. We're talking Baghdad hot where you're going, old man. It's a dry heat. Will you please show some respect? I need quiet when I read. He should have plenty of that. <laughs> that was funny, kid. It wasn't supposed to be funny. What was your name again? Douglas. Listen to me, all of you. The man that lays here before us was a very different man in his final days. He changed a great deal for the good. Yeah, you can tell by the sellout crowd. <laughs> well, then you're just gonna have to take my word for it, Sam. Now, you will all get your money in due time, but meanwhile, we stand here quietly. Okay, okay. Pay respects to our father as a family. Understood? Yep. Yeah. Even think about it. Please, how much money for you to help me? 
you understand? I blame Glace. Let's see. Anything you want, anything in the world you want, if you help me. Can you buy me a place in heaven? Wait, wait. Your father's will reads pretty standard. After a lot of legal mumbo jumbo, it all boils down to about three million dollars. A piece. Wow. What? Three million each. Oh my God! I'm free at last! Thank you, Lord Almighty! I'm free at last! Wow! Substantial estate. I thought he meant like a. Two bedroom condo in Boca. I have family and money at the same time. What did the old man do? Did he, did he rob a bank or something? Well, it turns out his fifth wife was pretty well off. <laughs> was she sucking on a tailpipe when he proposed Leo, to her? Leo, please. She what? loved him very much till the day she died. I bet the old man's prints are all over that one. Oh, good lord, stop. Daddy left us his money. That's the bottom line. But there are some contingencies. Wait, wait contingencies? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? What is it, in pesos? Why don't I go get a cup of Joe and you, kids? Sort this out. OK. First of all, Daddy left me the executor of the estate. That seems to make a lot of sense. Somebody we all trust. Yes, because if you give the money to Leo, he'll piss it away. Look, I know you think that you're this big, mature man, but I run a business, OK? Stop it. Stop. I'm a businessman. There's more. OK. You will get the money if you work together in a family business for two years. Well, Douglas, right? Yeah. Nice knowing you, kid. Have a good life. Sam. Oh, Sam. Nina. Sam. I love you very much, Sam. Nina, but this is not funny. Hey, let's open a deli. It was his dying wish to bring us back together as a family. His dying wish. Doesn't that mean anything to you, Sam? What are the three of us going to do together for two years without killing each you know other? What your problem is, Sam? Oh, I got plenty of ideas. You're not a glass half hey. empty kind of guy. You're a shove the glass up your ass kind of guy. You figured that this wasn't working before you even walked in that door. This is what I love about family. We haven't seen each other in 10 years, and we can pick up and hate each other like it was yesterday. Sam, stop it. That reminds me. Just because Junior here is supposedly the old man's seed, that doesn't Excuse mean that me. he's earned a fair share. He never met the no, bastard. It's, he's daddy's son and your half-brother, and I have the documents to prove it. OK, you all need this money desperately. You have alimony. You have college tuitions up the road. You are suspended without pay. And you, you're a bail bondsman. Really? What? I, I provide a service to the community. Yeah, and hawk up to your eyeballs. And you, a thief. I am a good thief. Like. Brad Pitt in Ocean's Eleven. Maybe you've seen it. I'll be sure to rent the DVD. Thank you. Now, I'm not saying you don't have good reason for what's become of you, but this is a blessing. This is a second chance for us to become a family again. That was his dying wish, and you will honor it, even if it kills you. We interrupt this broadcast for a special report. Billionaire businessman Kyle Wills was kidnapped today while en route to his office. Eyewitness reports from shocked onlookers described a chaotic scene in which as many as five armed and masked men attacked... So what was it like growing up together, guys? Come on, I grew up in child facilities and foster homes. We still had a good time. You want to know what it's like? Yeah. All right, I'll give you a little taste. You ever play the game Got You Last? No. Oh, it's great, man. All right, what you do is you hit each other back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. Until one guy gets the other guy really good. Bang! And then you run away and you say, Got you last. And then the other guy chases after you and tries to get you back. And then it starts all over again. It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. Except for when you play it with Sam. Because you know what Sam would do? I would finally get him once, real good, and I'd run off. But he wouldn't chase after me. And then I would live in fear for hours, sometimes even days, wondering when big bad Sam was gonna attack me. And you know, you know what your brother from another mother would do? 
he would set his alarm for 3 a.m. and walk into my room when I was still sleeping and slap the shit out of me. And I'd be laying there looking up at this monster and he'd lean down and he'd say, got you last. Now that's the funnest game that we ever played. The rest, I keep between myself and my therapist. Grow up. Kiss my ass, Sam. Got your last. You all right? I'm gonna kill you! Identified this man, Edgar Rodriguez, as one of the Will's kidnappers. According to the FBI, Rodriguez is an escaped fugitive facing charges for grand theft and assault That's my bail with a deadly skip. weapon. The Will's family is offering a $5 million reward for any information directly resulting in the billionaire's safe return. Take it or I'll shove it down your throat. Okay. So, all of our communications with the FBI are done through a computer. It's very high tech. You wouldn't understand. You're only good at destroying computer companies. You got no jack shit about how to use them. Yeah, I talk with my family somehow. Will you please shut up? You think I'm some kind of ogre? You see the camera? What do you think I bought that for, numb nuts? They see you, you see them, everybody cries, begs for mercy, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the feds are gonna to wanna to make sure that you're alive. So, I rig a live feed of a Dow Jones stock ticker to run across the bottom of the screen. That way you can read real-time stock quotes and see just how far your company's gone in the toilet because their faithful leader's about to die a horrible death unless they pay up. Hmm? It's cool, huh? Okay. Uh, Leo needs a favor. Yeah. See, I was thinking until we figure out what it is that we could do as a family business, you know? Um, I, I've got a little situation that I, I could use a little help with. How can I help, bro? Bro? What are you, 12 years old? The next thing I know, you're gonna be asking me to high-five Leo, you. do you want help or not? Bakers can't be choosers. Right. Sorry. Um, turns out, since I won't be getting at the old man's cut, for two years. Um, I'm in a little bit of a financial bind. See, I, I posted this bond on this guy, Edgar Rodriguez, um, for $250,000, and he skipped on me. And if he doesn't show up for his trial next week, I'm on the hook for the $250,000. This, this is a nightmare. I know, tell me about it. But the good news is, it seems Rodriguez is involved with that Kyle Wills kidnapping that's all over the news, so we got that going for us. Eco Summit now. 16. Volume's light. 630 million shares. Susan. Jansen, I'm okay. Jansen. Jansen, I want... He knows we can trace it. We'll never get any more than that. You're the only one on this planet I would let compare me to him. I want you to know that. <laughs> What would you do? Slap me around like one of your perps? Huh? Now, wouldn't that bring down the wrath of God? <laughs> you should have been a nun. <laughs> yeah. Cheated on my husband, ruined my marriage, and excommunicated from the church. <laughs> I got two failed marriages, a, a kid who barely knows me. I'm damned to hell for sure. Chips off the old block, huh? That's bogus, though. You know, it's time you grew up and just stopped blaming him. Now it's up to us. I love my brothers. Unconditionally. Even you. Even the one I just met. Really? What's mm -hmm. his name? Douglas. He seems very sweet. For a juvenile delinquent. Well, you're no prince either, and I still love you. That's kind of how family works. But you're actually gonna help me out? The FBI is gonna throw every agent they got at this thing. Wills is a huge contributor to the Republican Party. They're gonna find Rodriguez before we... No, but they're not gonna be looking for Rodriguez. Not just yet. 
But they, they know that this guy's not smart enough to pull off something this big. He's, he's nothing but a lieutenant with the cartels down in Mexico. So, interfere with an FBI investigation and get killed by the cartels? Yeah, but there's a $5 million reward. But we're not looking for wills, so there is no $5 million. So we split your bond. That's what, 10% on 250 grand? 25 grand split three ways, 8,333 and change. Now listen, Einstein, the deal was we worked together. Okay, and we split the old man's money. That bond is mine. No, no, this this counts as part of our two-year sentence. And the, and the deal was anything the company makes gets split three ways. That's the deal. Tell me what you know about Rodriguez. Slow down, Turbo. I see the way things are going here. You're snapping out orders and expecting the two of us to just eat shit. No. Nina said that we work together as a team. Oh, well, thank you, John Wooden. I'm a cop, that's what I do. Along the way, I'll try to figure out what kind of contribution you make to the team. Until then, I'm stumped. Please, please. Listen, Rodriguez was always running his mouth off about this girl that he was dating, this, this famous stripper down in Mexico City. You know City. how many strip clubs are in Mexico City? But she's famous, right? That narrows it down. Angelina, Angelina, that was her name. It was a singular name, like, like Madonna. Sam, just, just, just hear me out, okay? Hear me out. If Rodriguez is involved, he's involved because of his connections to the cartel in Mexico. So it's my guess that that's where they're hiding wills. We're gonna need money to get started. So how much do you need? 15,000? That'll get us started. I'll, I'll call you when we need more. 15 grand? Yeah. Well, y you know, I plan on running a tight ship, Sam. I, I do not want to dip into <clears throat> Daddy's funds until you've all proven yourself a bit. So, uh, 10,000 will have to do. No more. You're being a little tight with 12 million, don't you think? It's not our money yet. The company needs to prove itself. It has to be successful. I think. I think 10,000 is fair. Okay. You hold the purse strings, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, you will be careful, won't you? I mean, you'll look after them? They're grown-ups, Nina. I'll do my job, I'm not a babysitter. No, I know, but they are your family. I keep pushing the money angle for you, kid. I'll see you in a week. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> So Sam, what's first? I say we take a little nap and then we hit the strip clubs. It's pretty much my normal routine in every new town. <laughs> no. We call every club in town to see if they have a famous one-name stripper, Angelina. Did you take about a lifetime? More. It might not take as long as you guys think.
wrote down my cell number. If you ever need anything at all, don't hesitate to call! Oh my god! That was like a bad Bonanza episode! What is a Bonanza episode? Oh man, it's this great television show about this guy. He had three sons, all from different mothers. Very, very relatable to our situation. Sammy and I, we would sit and watch the reruns when we were younger. <laughs> it was pretty much the only time when we were beating each other up, right? It's a stupid show. No, it was a great show. It was classic, iconic television. I can't believe you've never seen Bonanza. They didn't have Nick at Night in the Slammer? No. Wow, you would be a perfect little Joe, man. Yeah. He was the youngest, yeah. Who would you be, Haas? No, no, you're a Haas. Big pecs, Popeye forearms, perfect. No, Haas was more defined by his stupidity rather than size. Andy was a middle child, you'd be Haas. Eat me. Hey, thanks for helping me out in there, Sam. Just like a big brother should, huh? <laughs> Brothers? I'm a cop, I was stopping a homicide. Wow, you're a dick. It's cool, it's cool, I don't care. The bottom line is, we have nothing on Rodriguez. Not necessarily. She gave me her apartment number and told me to stop by. She said she was having a party. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't press too hard for information. She's scared. Take it nice and easy. Look, you're sending a boy in to do a man's job. She has for the kid, Leo, not for you. I know, but it's a party. So I, I could go up there and I could mingle. Like yeah, whatever. Small... Listen, anything in that apartment. Anything that gets us closer to Rodriguez, okay? Okay. All right, I'll do my best. Wish me good luck. Yeah, right, just go. She's gonna chew him up and spit him out. there was a party. There is. Am I early? No. You are the party. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, you make too much of it. I've got a certain gift for sure, but yeah, you know. Oh, Edgar! I will kill your young friend, and we'll make love one last time before I kill you. Edgar, you said tomorrow! Because I'm early, this is okay. Oh, Edgar, please, kill me, but not him. He's an innocent and blessed by God. Well, there goes Leo's 200 grand. Yeah, he's gonna be disappointed. Rodriguez, his mother lives in a small town called Vista del Fuego. Apparently, him and her are pretty close. He told Angelina he's going to America for a big score. Wait, 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 who told you this? Was somebody at the party? It was Angelina. She was pretty nice. Wait a sec, I don't get it. She was all buttoned up at the strip club. What made her change her mind? She was, uh, she was vulnerable. 
What's that supposed to be? Leo. What? Rodriguez is dead. What do you mean Rodriguez is dead? I mean, the kid was in a sack with his girlfriend. Rodriguez showed up, oh, so I had to God. shoot him. You were sleeping with the famous dude. What did you just say? Did you say you shot Rodriguez? What about like $200,000? We're going to go after Wills for the $5 million reward. Well, all we need is information leading to his safe return. Rodriguez had to know where they were hiding Wills. And unfortunately, you shot him. Yeah, it was pretty fortunate from where I was standing, though. Lay it. You were laying, Romeo. Listen, here's his wallet. See if you can find anything. If we get a lead, we call the American Embassy, we cash in on the $5 million, and we get on with our separate lives. So, what do you think of the kid? The way he came from the old man's loins. Why do you say that? He's not a big enough asshole. Are you actually admitting you're an asshole? We're both assholes. No. Don't drag me into your personal nightmare. I happen to be a very decent guy. Just because a drunk admits that he's a drunk doesn't make him any more sober. Just trying to bond with you, Leo. I heard that misery loves company. It, it works the same with misery or without. It just depends on the company, asshole. Be sure to leave all your valuables in the truck. One vacancy in this entire piss ant town? Come on, what is this? A convention destination? I've slept on bathroom floors that were bigger than that hotel room. I had a cell in juvie that was like six by six. You usually have to double up in a place like that. It was a slow week, thank God, and I had the whole place to myself. Bring luck like that. Yeah, regular horseshoe up your ass. There's no way. I'm sleeping in a bed with either one of you guys. Fine. Sleep in the truck. Come on, I'll take the floor, you guys take the beds. Wow. Hey, listen to him, man. He's a puppy dog. He's cute, cuddly, chicks dig him, and he'll sleep on the floor. Guys, we gotta be careful. We stick out like sore thumbs in this town. Man, it's beautiful here. I wish I spoke Spanish. I wanna immerse myself in the local culture. Whoa! How's that for local culture? Dive in. Puppy dog. English. You speak any English? No. Senor Rodriguez, podemos hablar con su hijo Eddie. Uh, somos buenos amigos. We got a bilingual brother. That's going to come in handy down here. Yeah. Now we can get us killed in two languages. Excuse me. Mi hijo no está aquí. Ustedes no parecen ser amigos de él. No, no, no. Desde hace tiempo, Eddie hijo. Nosotros. ¿Sabe dónde podemos encontrar a mi buen amigo? No. ¿Son policías? <laughs> no, no, no. Ni Dios lo mande. Odiamos a la policía. See if that helps. Sí, sí, sí. Él dijo que usted confiaría en nosotros si le enseñábamos esto. Ni yo confío en él. Ask about the woman in the picture. She may be in danger. Mamá. Hey, kid. Les disparo. Por favor. Este hijo, sí confío. Parece ser un buen joven, señor Rodríguez. De verdad, no quedemos para usarle ningún problema. Por favor, no. Él solo me protege. Trujillo. Su nombre es Teresa Trujillo. Teresa Trujillo. ¿Dónde la puedo encontrar? Rodríguez is dead. They tracked him down here. Are you gonna sit there and tell me you had this figure, huh? Leave them little pieces of cheese to find us with? Make it more interesting? An FBI agent was quoted in the article. The Bureau's claiming no responsibility. <laughs> and you believe him? I worked for them 10 years. They'll consider it a huge failure if they don't bring Wills back alive. Whoever killed Rodriguez doesn't give a damn about Wills. Let me worry about it, will you? Okay. But while you're worrying, get off my computer! 
It took me a month to put in those money transfers, and you're gonna crash it playing cards. All right. Look, if the feds didn't kill Rodriguez, then who? In the world Rodriguez lives in, I'm sure the list is endless. It doesn't matter. It's not connected. Yeah. Except now Rodriguez is dead. We're in the middle of Mexico. And we don't have the Mexican who brought us to the dance! We don't need him anymore. It's all preset. But you know what? Why don't we send Bertram and Bermuda into town and see if anyone's been looking around? Look. I'm talking. Uh, wow! What are you saying, Sam? Are you saying you need me all of a sudden? No. For some reason, you sound smarter when I don't know what you're saying. Hey, could you teach me? What? Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I'll loan you the tapes. I got it. Thanks. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Really? You speak English? Teresa, we're friends with Edgar Rodriguez. He said he may be able to help us. He's first. dead. Did you know that about your friend Edgar? Are you police? Gee, everybody's just paranoid about the cops around here, aren't they? I guess it crosses all borders, right? We're not the police. Do you happen to hear anything about the kidnapping of the American? I can read. If you're not police, you should leave. Well, my grandfather is going to blow a large hole through this door and ruin it. Well, in that case, I lied. Just heard Mexicans are friendly people. I'm half Indian. We're not so friendly. Ooh. I haven't seen Edgar in two years. Your picture was in his wallet. I assure you, you won't find a picture of him in my wallet. You can check. No, there's no need. She's telling the truth. What, you got a crystal ball up your ass, too? How's that fit with the lucky horseshoe? I just know, OK? But I can only do it with women, You're so... not a cop, are you? No, I'm not a cop. His brother and his brother, too. She doesn't need to know all that. How do you know Rodriguez? We grew up together. Listen, we don't know anything about your beautiful country here, but we really could use some help right now. There's a reward for any information leading to the return of the rich American. We'll pay you an equal share. An equal share? Are you crazy? 10% max. I want no part of it. When I found out Edgar died, I felt nothing. She's lying. She's damn good. Well, she's not lying. It's time for you to leave. That's great, that's great. Back to square one. Charmed. Sorry, we're just, we're just kind of out of our place here. We... You're very kind. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I thought they would have taken your badge when they fired your ass. I wasn't fired, I was suspended. I keep an old badge just in case. Hey, kid. Yeah? Rule number one in team play, never tell anybody anything until we talk. Okay, if we'd have talked about it, would you have asked her for help? No. Oh, but it's completely okay for you to offer a complete stranger an equal share. Well, what the hell is that, huh? You know, there's no I in team, Sammy boy. Yeah, but there's an I in family, and I'm still the oldest, so shut up. Want well, to know what's going on in the neighborhood? Go to a local bar. This is the type of local bar that you go to if you want to get shot for no apparent reason. You speak the language, Leo. They'll respect that. <laughs> you bet. How do I beg for my life in Spanish? Just like, what do you do? This is how you beg for your life in Spanish. Good God, Leo. You want a bear? You got a license for that. I'm a bail bondsman, not a kindergarten teacher. You packing that little baby cop pea shooter of yours? It'll do. All right. Got anything you can use, kid? I don't care for guns, man. Okay, you can make a fine looking corpse. I'll tell you what, just stay here and keep the engine running. Yeah? Be careful! ¿Qué pasó a mí? ¿Se le todo el gusano o qué? No, es un mamón. Yeah, it's a grande mamón. What was that about? You know, see what me speaking the language does? It turns the whole table around, puts me in control, and I can see how much you hate it. No, Leo, it's not a competition. Get your head blown off in a place like this. Yeah, all right, fair enough. All right, so you basically, you want me to pretend like... I don't want to buy drugs. When in Rome, 
Okay, see so if you can get something from the bartender. Hey, dos tequilas, compa. Yeah, pero calmado con mi hijo. Poquito para el chiquito. Con quién puedo hablar? Dos empresarios. Si están buscando cómo hacer negocio por aquí. Esto depende del negocio, amigo. Ah, right. Well, si yo quisiera comprar los mejores zapatos estuviera en Italia. Right? I mean, you would. Nadie compra nada por aquí sin tener o las comer duro. Huh. Okay. ¿Y dónde puedo encontrar a Verdugo? <risa> no, amigo. Usted no encuentra a Verdugo. Verdugo lo encuentra a usted. Huh. ¡Estás quieto! Oh, crap. Gentlemen, your friend here was double parked. Put your weapons in the bar. No hurting. I think the American Kyle Wills may be hidden down here. And you assume I have something to do with it? No. You have no motive. Ah, oh, good. At least you are not a stupid policeman. Mm -hmm. What then? If Rodriguez was to bring him down here, I'd assume he'd ask for your permission out of respect. Maybe good sense. Rodriguez had no respect and very little sense. He worked for me. He wanted to be me. Can you blame him? Will the kidnappers be down here without you knowing about them? If they are here, it is because Rodriguez knew where to hide them. In a place where I would have no concern. Does that place exist? Is there a place where people aren't afraid of you? To know me is to be afraid. If they're within a thousand miles in any direction, they know me. Is there a place that's of no concern to you? Simple. A place where the soil is not fertile. I am a farmer, remember? What about the Indian land? Doubtful. They have their holy places. But there, the Indians would have killed them by now. Maybe the canyons. Listen, if Wills is here, the U.S. government is going to bring more heat on you than you can afford. I want to find him first. I need your help. Even if I had something to do with it, your government cannot prove it. You will be dropped off back at your hotel. If you're not gone in 24 hours, you will die here. Llévalos. Hey, Who were they? I don't know, you pig! You're gonna tell me? And you're gonna tell me right now. My money. Huh? I, go back, I go back to work in three weeks. This is ridiculous. No, no. Are you really gonna walk away on this whole thing? Three million dollars for each of us, but I don't get my piece without you. It ain't worth getting killed, though. It is for me. Give it up, Leo. I've got nothing left! Hey, hey, Sam! Hey, Sam, at least think about it on your way home, man. Finally getting a chance to meet my family's been a lot. We ain't family! If there's no money involved in this, we never meet. What does that tell you? I don't care about the money. I'm just glad to meet you guys. I just wish I could have met my dad, too, man. Let me bring you up to speed on your family. Your dad, an abusive drunk and a sex addict. Four kids, four mothers. All right. Did you at least get a chance to meet your mom? Yeah, stripper. Raised me for three years. Put me on a doorstep, see you bye. All right. What about Leo's mom? Cleaning lady for dad's bookie. Died during childbirth. Now, don't worry. Him and Nina's mom had a pretty good run. Three, four years. They were drunk the whole time.
Hey. He must have had some good qualities. Oh, he sure did. He'd only beat up Leo because he wouldn't hit a girl and he was afraid of me. Wait. I raked the door. The kids were always sneaking into your rooms in juvie. Could be somebody still there. Could be they wired the room. Either way, you gave him a key and told him the room because it's not broken into. Please, please, the man was here looking for you, but but he's gone. But you those men? No, no, American. I, I didn't know him. You see? Nothing. Wait! Get down! This is your idea of an express checkout, asshole? Same guys who kidnapped Wills. They know Rodriguez is dead, and they somehow made the connection. <coughs> well, how did they know it was us? Because we're the only morons with bullseyes on our foreheads. Do you still need help? What are you doing here? These men that worked with Edgar, Americans, they came looking for you. They killed my grandfather. I know every trail, road, and canyon for a hundred miles. We're gonna need guns. Leo, get in the back. Stop here, we're close. used to be a weapons depot for the military. Now Verdugo uses it. Eh, who's gonna kill us anyway? How are we gonna get in there? They, they gotta have some sort of, like, security system, fancy locks. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. You guys take care of the guards, I'll get you in. Disculpe, me, senor. Se me atascó mi coche en una zanja. ¿Me puedo ayudar? Lo que pueda hacer para ustedes sería un gran placer. Señor. Hola, guapo. Oye, ¿qué diablos estás haciendo? Tráigale tu pistola, amigo. Tráigale. Just shoot the lock. It's gonna be a lot faster if I just shoot it off. Yeah, great. So if the gunshot doesn't bring the whole town down, your big mouth's going to. Shut up, Leo. Hey, guys. You mind giving me some room? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you learn that stuff? I met a guy when I was a kid. I called him Uncle Jimmy. He's the best b &E man in the country. Uh, he taught me how to get in and out of anything. This must be what Charlton Heston's first wet dream looked like. This, this, this will definitely do. Hey, someone's gonna have to show me how to use one of these. You know what, kid? I have absolutely no idea. But I bet Big Bad Sammy the cop will show you. No, sir, only the bad guys get these. Just grab a good high-powered automatic rifle, some of those grenades. Leo, Huh? don't blow yourself up. How do you feel, boss? 
sorry. Well, <laughs> listen to you. I do believe that apology is sincere. I mean, there's nothing like a peak of mortality to show up in hindsight, huh? My life's been about money. I have trouble seeing past it. Don't tell me. And now you're wondering if money is what life's all about, huh? <laughs> That's cliche, man. But I'm with you. Because that is the question. Is the money enough? I mean, is anything less than blowing your head off enough? Because that's the thing about blowing somebody's head off. Oh, boy, it is definitely enough. If you're gonna kill me, could I say goodbye to my family first? What? Tell them you love them? That sort of nonsense? Yes. Please. Wow, that is touching. <laughs> Relax, will you? I couldn't even figure out how to load it. Not really a gun kind of guy. Only one road takes us close to the canyons, and they'll see us coming for miles. We'll need horses. Wait, no, no, horses? No, I, I don't do horses, guys, OK? You any good on a horse, kid? Yeah, spent a few years on a work ranch for delinquents. I ho silver. The Mennonites have the best horses. Supplies, clothing also. Mennonites? My ass hurts already. I'm gonna need a real gentle one. Like, uh, I'd like to smell the glue. Okay. The roan is beautiful. An excellent choice. And the horses. You got one where my feet can still touch the ground? <laughs> she won't take the saddle. Yeah, she's been abused. Abuse? No. Some require a firm hand. Yeah, she's been burnt by the hobbles. Ooh. Her ribs are bruised. Whipped pretty hard on the back side, maybe kicked even. Is that your idea of a firm hand? The sauce almost killed the men once. I don't doubt that. Or maybe you can do better. Well, you don't deserve this horse or any other. We'll take it. Come on, just sit there. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I got it. I'll, I'll let you take care of it, Sam. Go right ahead. That's my brother, you know. You don't seem like brothers. Yeah. Tell me about it. He's pretty good with that horse, though, ain't he? I've seen that kind of training before. Very gentle. Is that a girl? Are you a policeman, too? No. No, no. Not me. Just Sam. Is he a good one? I'm sure he is. He's good at everything he does. Except people. Sorry about your grandfather. Oh. Huh? You 
know, the kidnapper's got to be talking to the FBI. But there's no phone lines, there's no cell phones to trace. Unless they were scrambled through a computer. Wireless phone modems with cell phone, emails. Hold up, hold up. So they're gonna need a generator. Generator's powered by gas. I know of only one gas depot between here and the canyons. Can you find it? I'm Indian, remember? Like your cowboy movies. I get down, put my ear to the ground, smell the horse dung, sniff the wind. That's all we're good for, right? Wow. What's wrong with Iowa? wake up on the wrong side of the bedroll. Considering what she's been through, maybe we could cut her some slack. Huh, Leo? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I guess little Joe's right. That was uh, kind of stupid. You know what's stupid, Leo? The whole bonanza thing. That's stupid. Well, you must have cared about him once, a long time ago. That girl was like my father. He protected me from the things he knew I would not tolerate. You mean he lied to you? That's what I mean. When I found out the true nature of what he did, I left. Again, like my father. What is it your father did? Verdugo worked for him. Hey! How do you get these things to go if they don't want to? <laughs> the gas depot's over the next rise, about a mile. All right, we rest near here and we wait for dark. Gorgeous woman, ain't it? Definitely. Hey, tell me, little brother. How do you do it, huh? With, with the ladies, I mean. I, I, I'm not asking because I need pointers or anything. I mean, the good Lord knows that I do just fine on my own, but I'm just asking artist to artist, like, uh, what's your technique? Well, Leo. We'll I really don't like to talk about stuff like that. Kind of kills the magic. Wow, I uh, wasn't meaning locker room BS. I was just trying to bond brother to brother. And apparently, never mind. All right, well, you want to know what the thing is? Yeah. The way I get my joy, my satisfaction, is how intense and complete the woman's joy is. The woman seems very giving because I'm acutely attuned into her every need. But in reality, it's selfishly motivated. Huh. I guess that could work. Leo, stay here with Teresa. Me and the kid are going to look around. Wait, why, why do I have to stay here? She'll protect you. Oh, come on. Are you forgetting I'm the one that speaks Spanish? I'm not going to talk to him. I'm just going to look around. Yeah, go, Leo. I can stay with Teresa. Uh, no, I think we all know where that's going. Don't be an idiot, Leo. <laughs> Listen to the kid. It's starting to sound like family. We could all go. No, I'm going to go alone. Less of a chance I can get spotted. No offense, Sam, but you're pretty easy to spot. I don't want you getting shot. And that neon cowboy hat on your fat head isn't helping either. What, are you worried about me, Leo? No. I just don't want the shot giving away our position. Yo no pienso manejar papa oscuro. Es tu turno. A mí no me molesta manejar. Juegas muy despacio por una vida tan corta. If you'll excuse me, I think this might be a good time for me to freshen up. Um, hey, be careful because um, human feces is an aphrodisiac for the great brown Mexican grizzly. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Yep. 
He doesn't have the arrogance of most men I've known. Well, he can be pretty selfish. You know, he's just a kid, remember? Your brother Sam, he seems hardened. Yeah. That's because he is. Hard-nosed, hard-headed, hard to get along with. But you... You are none of those things. Hardened, selfish, nothing like that. No, no, it's because I'm a giver. Give, 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 always give, never take. <laughs> you seem very insecure. What? Where'd you pick that up, huh? Some psych class at the local JC, or is that just all Dr. Phil? Who's Dr. Phil? You need a satellite to get Dr. Phil out here. No, 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 no. Hey, it's okay, but it's okay, all right? Relax. Do something. Your friends? Uh -huh. Where are they at? What friends? The ones riding the other horses. Oh, I'm a cowboy. No. Oh, those are my horses. I ride one some big to death, and then I got to back up. Tell me. Or Bernardo, you no. want to have to cut your girlfriend. No, no, no. I'm taking her to Verdugo. If you hurt her, he'll kill all of us. Verdugo is the one that sent us. <laughs> Last chance. I mean, if I kill her, she can't have my kids. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. I, I gave him my best shot. But I'll, I'll be honest now, okay? One of my friends. He's right behind you, partner. <laughs> Tracy, you okay? Leo, Leo, you alright? Oh, oh, I lost the tooth. I definitely broke a rib and my ass really hurts from that damn horse. But you were cool, man. You were definitely cool. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, uh, you think so? Yeah. You were pretty cool too, little brother. Who the hell are these guys? Uh, Should've seen Leo, Sam. <sighs> You wouldn't give us up. No. <laughs> Verdugo sent them. I bet there's more after him. Listen, I saw a map. A town called Platzcuro. I, I got the coordinates. Platzcuro is half a day's ride on horseback. Maybe an hour by truck. Okay, then we go now. Listen, you guys, you keep my horse with you. If that truck's leaving soon, I'm gonna be on it. What if we run into where they're keeping Wills? Uh, I mean, they, they'll kill him. No, the money they're asking for Wills, the only way they can get it is if they keep him alive. They'll kill us first. What if they think we're the FBI? The FBI won't come in on horseback. That's a good point. All right, so we stick to the plan, we find Wells, call the American Embassy, go home, and wait for our checks. Is that what this is all about for you? The money? I didn't mean it like, as long as we're here, the money's not a bad thing. So. We should get ready to leave. I didn't mean it like that, Teresa. Come on, you meant well. I had a dream last night. The guys who killed Rodriguez, whoever they are, were just a myth. Yeah. I dreamed you orchestrated the whole thing so we wouldn't have to split the money. I'm not that clever. Don't underestimate yourself. You understand? You hablo too much, I kill you. Rise and shine, pumpkin head. <laughs> That's what my mother used to say. If all goes as planned, you should be back with your pseudo loved ones. By happy hour tomorrow night, at which point I will be halfway to handsome. 
Before you do whatever it is you've planned, will I be able to talk to my son? Oh, you're still pretty sure that we're gonna kill you, huh? Cross my mind. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Again, you took 50 million from me, I take 500 million from you. Which is what I would have had if I invested the 50 mil in the first place, swear to God. It's an eye for an eye. Biblical, man. Relax. Hello. Yes, I'd like to speak to the agent in charge of the Lyle Wills kidnapping investigation. Yes, I think I can be of help. Thank you. a few minutes, goddammit. It's only been a few minutes. What's the matter? Is the Iceman having a meltdown? <laughs> got it. I got it, baby! I'm all set up for the transfer. Now we just gotta put our buddy here online. And the party gets started. Oh, get out of the way. Move out of the way. There we go. I think Sam just pulled up with the gas truck. Just look for the guy with the dorky cowboy hat and the, the, the King Kong shoulders. See him? Yep. Los dos chiefs primero. Si. Strato Entertainment, down four and an eighth. Corsell down a half. Solo net down two and chain. Can you back the hell off, please? I can't even hear myself think here. Jansen. Hey, Dad. I wanted to tell you what I do for a living. For your report. I turned it in, Dad. I made some stuff up. I'm sorry. But I'd still like to know. Got it. Here we go. Now all we gotta do is split it up and we're out of here. It's not us. We're headed there now. The two Blackhawks, the Mexican military, promised us our boat down mechanical problems, so... Negative. Commercial helicopter at least two hours out from Mexico City. Copy that. It all starts with an idea, right? Uh, people come up with ideas. Good people, good ideas. That's how you start a business. You're not in it. Drop it. Where's Wills? Dead. He was late. If he was dead, you would have moved on by now. The one where Sam killed my grandfather. Must 
be the guy that killed Rodriguez. You picked the wrong horse, Bubba. Kill them both. Teresa and Lee are going to check the grounds. I'm going after the Bronco. Teresa says there's a pass through the mountains. Bronco doesn't matter. It matters to Teresa. That guy killed her grandfather. Just don't get hurt, kid. Hey, uh, ne uh, necesito el número de la Embajada Americana en la Ciudad de México. What? Uh, Ah, uh, me escuchas? Me escuchas ahora? Senor Wiz? Oh, mira. This. This is unacceptable. You the FBI? No, no. Uh, I'm here to escort you to them. Cuida la puerta. You are safe now. You are in safe hands. Fully beach, and I know you had it in you. Okay? Now you show me. Come on! Let's go!
Lost a lot of blood there, little Joe. You okay, kid? Hey, Sam. You farm Wills? Verdugo came and turned him over to the FBI like a good Samaritan. Okay, so what does that mean for us? It means we're broke. I gotta admit, though, seeing that asshole tits up, that, that was worth a million bucks, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't bring my grandfather back, does it? I can't, I can't, I just can't catch a break with this broad, can I? Try keeping your mouth shut. I didn't come all this way to die of exhaustion. Give me five minutes, okay? Well, I guess this is as good a place as any. Hey, get out of my stuff. Get down. What? Hey, what are you doing? What are you? Oh, come on, guys. Put those down. Come on. Is this the backup? The backup flash drive? Is that what this is? Of course, that's it. That's all we need. Come on, let's get going. I don't have to. I don't have to say. Hey, what are you insane? What's the matter? Sit down. Wait. Wait. Okay. You were right. Uh, wait. I underestimated myself. Oh. Come on. Why didn't I say this? Stop talking. Oh. Oh. Please, tell my mother. That's them. I saw him meet up with a group at the mouth of the canyon. I just, it was just too dark to bring him down. Only an Indian could guide them through. You must have some sort of plan of getting picked up or transported from there. Unless we can get him before sunrise. We have maybe four hours before dawn. After that, they're gone. No, what? What? What are you guys talking about? No, 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 no. The guy that killed your grandfather's already dead. Okay? We're, I'm, I'm not gonna get my money back. We have no shot at the reward money. Wills is back with his family. Our job is done here. Do you see anybody else out here that's gonna go after him, Leo? What's that got to do with anything, Sam? I'm a cop. I don't get to walk away. Oh, Sam, you're not a cop. You got suspended. I'm not asking you to go. Stay with the kid. Fine. I told you I'm fine. I can go. Wow, this is great. Now you're gonna get the kid killed too. You know, just when I was starting to like your dumb ass. No, I'm not letting you take him with you. Look at his leg. It's about to fall off. What are you gonna do? Carry him? Jesus, Leo, shut up! No, I won't shut up! It's crazy, Sam! You know what, Sam? What? It baffles me that you're not capable of walking away from being a cop, yet you're completely fine with walking out on me and your little sister. So that's what this is all about, Leo. You left us alone with him. You have absolutely no idea how bad it got when you were gone. Now, now, Nina, you know her. She probably forgave you by now, but me? You were the one that was taking care of us, not him. I expected nothing from him but you. And you know the funny thing? Eventually, he sobered up. You never came back, Sam. 
It's crazy how much you resent the guy because... You're just like him, Sam! Hey! <laughs> Come on! I got you last. What are you gonna do, huh? Do it! Do it! Come on! I was 17 years old. If I'd have stayed, I'd have killed him. Marcus Kenton. We're going to have to move faster. How's it like, kid? It's good enough. It will be difficult for the horses the rest of the way in the canyons. You think they're looking for him? I don't know. It's not military. Maybe that's his way out. Head down to the canyons in case he doubles back. They won't be able to land at the bottom of the canyons. They're gonna pull him out. this neck of the woods. You're under arrest. <laughs> Never walk out on family, Sam! You're absolutely right. Woohoo! Nice going! What is it? Horse? No, it's Hoss. And I'm not Hoss. I can't be Hoss. I'm the oldest. By process of elimination, you're Hoss. Fine. If, if only by process of elimination, then I can live with that. Sure there's nothing more we can do for you? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the FBI, they said that we're good for at least $250,000 of the reward money. And in my opinion, I think you more than earned your share. And that's 
I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that's okay with you guys. Absolutely. Seems fair. Yeah. No, please, I'm fine. Come on. You're well. I'm sorry. It's, I know it's been a couple of days. It's... All right, take care of the one. Get her, cowboy. Take care. I'll miss you. You know, I'd like to come back to visit, if that's okay. Leo's gonna lend me his uh, Spanish tapes, he says. I think I'd like that very much. Take care. Bye. Going back there, he shot up. There's a special girl I might go see. I can't believe we made it through it alive. I, without I him, I don't think yeah. we would have. Uh, hey, without yeah. you, bro. I wasn't you know, there, but you were spanking. You were walking in and you noticed the clip. Yeah, I, uh, okay. You've been dead. No, he's got, he's got a lot of money down, down there. there. Man. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So I wish you would have seen it. You gotta give me those tapes. There is no money. There never was. It was the only way to bring you all together. Daddy really was a changed man. It was his final wish to bring you all together. That much was true. There was no other way. I'm sorry. You lied. You never told a lie in your entire life. I mean, it, it made, I, I, I lie all the time, and, and Sam, uh, he's, he's a huge liar. And, and Douglas, the kid's a thief. You? I believed you, Nina. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I will go to confession. Oh, yeah, okay, all right, go to confession. It's all fine now. Are you kidding me? What are you going to do about us? Leo, I'm sorry you're angry. But the real question is, does the end justify the means? I mean, look at you all. What about a private investigation agency? Hmm? I don't follow. I'm a cop. Leo, bail bondsman. We know criminals. The kid is a criminal. No, absolutely not. No, I'm not bringing you together so you can get killed. Wait a second. Yeah. Are you actually suggesting that we still go into business together anyway? Yeah. If you're going to do something, you want to succeed, you might as well be good at it, right? Yeah, I like it. No. I'm in. That is not what Daddy wanted. The old man wanted us together. I hope that sorry son of a bitch is rolling over in his grave right now. <laughs> oh, we got in last. <laughs> oh, wow. Molly, Molly, Molly. <laughs> Grow up. Kiss my ass, Sam. Kid. <clears throat> oh, my bad. It's all right. Come on. Some reason he was really scary looking that time. <laughs> <laughs> that way, you can read real time stock quotes and see just how far your company's gone in the toilet because their faithful leader is about to die a horrible death. Sorry, don't have my glasses on. and mustard. <laughs> uh, you can see my brothers. You ever seen Wild at Heart? <laughs> the two Blackhawks of Mexican military promised us we're both down with mechanical problems. You got egg on your face. Hey, guys. <laughs> it seems that my Rodriguez guy is involved with that Kyle Wilson. It seems that that... Now you have egg on your face. We're gonna need some money to get started. Hey, you look at heels. <laughs> you, me, a faraway getaway place, some thinly sliced deli meats, and a gallon of brandy, that's fine with me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you can't hold a straight face over here. Yeah, baby. It 
also made me smart to say what I think she said? Yeah, I did. I said <laughs> Okay, trust me. Trust me. I was a prick. Trust me, son of a Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. John, I gotta save my voice a little bit for you. Do it. That's okay. No, no, I just, I, I just right, like nice. having you there because right, it's fun to be with. Suave mami, al paso chula. Suave mami, al paso chula. Suave mami. I know every trail, road, and canyon for a hundred miles. We're gonna need guns. <laughs> Hi guys, we're going to play another vlog. Please like the video and subscribe the channel to find more videos. Which video you want?
Bye guys.